Hello or welcome back. In this short video I'm going to show you a very simple method for potting on your shop bought pear tree. Cordon pear trees like this one, which is a few years old and was bought recently, should be transplanted into a pot while the tree is dormant, which is in the winter. Get a pot which is larger and deeper than the plastic container the tree is currently living in. This will give the roots some growing room and it means it won't blow over in the wind. Tree trunks shouldn't be in contact with the soil as this will eventually rot and kill the tree. Therefore, we want to lift this up a little and have the top of the soil in line with the top of the plastic pot. To do this, place some stones or broken pot around the drainage holes in the bottom and then throw in a good few handfuls of potting mix. I'm using this tree and shrub mix as it releases nutrients over a longer period of time, which is ideal for fruit trees. Once you think you have enough, test the height by placing the tree in the pot like so. Add some more potting mix if you're still too low. To give the roots a good boost and to help this tree to fill the pot, I'm going to sprinkle on some fish, blood and bone onto the top of the potting mix. To remove the tree from its pot, lift it up and turn it upside down whilst keeping a hand around the trunk to catch the tree as it slides out. Gravity and a gentle pull should do the trick. The roots of this tree are looking good and they haven't yet started to loop around the inside of the pot. If yours are tangled or looping around, you'll need to gently loosen them to give them the best chance of growing outwards. The next step is to fill the rest of the pot to secure the tree in place. Grab your potting mix again, and one handful at a time, start to pile the mix up in the centre around the tree. Don't try to place the mix into the gaps, that will get very messy. Instead, pile it around the centre and then brush the mix down into place, like so. As you go, press your fingers down around the edge to press the mix down to the bottom of the pot. Keep doing this until there are no gaps, the top is level and the pot is filled. Have a quick tidy and pop the label back in so we don't forget what this is. Lastly, we need to thoroughly water this tree, and this is for a couple of reasons. One, it washes the soil around the roots, which removes any air pockets. And two, it encourages the roots to grow out into the new soil. Take your time with this as it's easy to rush, which would damage the tree. The potting mix is likely to be very dry, like this is, and this causes the water to run off the surface rather than being soaked in. Add little amounts of water often, like so, and wait for it to soak away each time. You know you're done when the water starts leaking out the bottom of the pot. And it's as simple as that. The tree will now grow to fill this pot and we should have lots of fruits this coming summer. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, do consider subscribing to the channel. I upload every week and we would love to have you as part of the community. There's also a Patreon page where you can show your support. Here are some other videos that you may be interested in. Thank you and happy growing.